Hi guys, welcome back to Alex Davy. So today I will show you how to do a, a combo punch. And there will be two parts to this. The first part will be the stick man that punches, and then the second part will be the other stick man that gets punched. And then I might do another, that's not 100%. But I might show you how to, how to well add the effects. And by effects I mean like, I mean like the sparks and stuff when you punch. That's what I mean by effects. Now let me just delete these extra frames. Okay. Now that I have 50 frames. And just saying we are doing this at 20, at 24 FPS. So I'm just mentioning that right now. 24, wait, blah, 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 okay, that was nothing. That was nothing. So now I'm gonna pull out my pen, which I always use to animate. So, like we all, like I always do, I start with my pen and do a 15 px ground. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, that's. So we like do this low. Okay. And now I copy and paste. Copy paste. Why did I start at the 26th frame? Okay, that doesn't really matter. Just give me a second to do this. And just saying that skiing video, that should come out sometime tomorrow. The skiing video that I've been mentioning, that should come out sometime tomorrow. Okay? I'm just mentioning that. So that skiing video should come out sometime tomorrow on this video, as well coming out when it comes out. The skiing video is coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna hope that I can get it by by 12 a.m. today. And by that I mean like I'm recording this at like around six ish to make it get it at 12 a.m. I mean like not in the morning, but like 9:20, not that sort of what I meant. Okay, now I'll just quickly erase that. Okay, now it is time to start. So first we want to go on to our second layer which I'm not going to name, because I always remember. So, you can pick, well, any color. As you know, since you know me, I like to use red. <laughs> yeah. I remember, 24 FPS. Remember that. And this takes around a second to animate, so. So first, you want to you want to make your stick man do one... You want to make your do, stick man do one try. I'm not sure if you know how, but try to do, make your stick man do like one big step that makes it look like an animation. So I will show you how to do that. So first, okay. So first, you want to start like this, and since he's gonna be the attacking one, make it look like he's gonna attack. Okay, so now this, since this is 24 frames per second, you're going to want to make everything move a, quite a bit slower than you normally would. And also, he's going to be doing a punch, a kick, and then an, and then an up, and then an upper punch. I forgot what it's called. It's like the thing where you punch in in the head, and then it makes you go flying. I forgot what it's called. And now here's the weirdest frame for me only. <laughs> that looks so weird. I feel like that's only me that draws that frame like that. Okay, I'm making this a bit wobbly. Okay. So first he's, he's going to do like a straight punch. Like a fully straight punch. And just saying, this three-parter should end by the end of Sunday. Sunday, March. Sunday, March 19th, 2023. That's when it should end. All, all, the, all the parts. The second one will be coming out today. And the third one will be coming out tomorrow. So, yeah. So, then, you want to make him, like... You want to make his hand go more backwards. And then make this one go close. To make it look like he's winding. And what I like to do is put hinge, hinge points on where everything hinges at. So like, look, 
this like hinges right there and then this like hinges right there see that makes everything easier to copy okay then here's where his arm will be outstretched the most and then here's where this arm will be closest and then once again hinge point hinge, hinge point hinge point i like to do that Actually, this hinge point is going to go there. This hinge point is going to go there. Oh, no, I put that. Okay, wait, no, make that small and then make this full. Okay. So that's where the hinge points are going to be. So first, I'm just going to get him to do this, then this, then this. Then here, and then here. And then on the ninth frame, which is going to be now, he is going to let the punch go. So that means start making it go closer, and then making this one extend a bit. And then and then after he goes fully into the punch with that hand, make that hand go flying down over. Like, it, like he's just doing that. Now here, you're going to want to make the hinge points go far. So, yeah. Then it connects there. It goes there, then it goes there. This one goes here, and then it goes there. Yeah, I think he's breaking his back a bit too much. Yeah, he's breaking his back a bit too much. So hinge point right there. Second hinge point, and third hinge point. Because he, on this frame, he has to be really close to the ground so that he can actually handle it. Okay. Now, but did it just do two frames in one? Yeah, so then he walks. Wait, I'm just trying to figure out something. So then he walks, he charges the punch, and he lets it go, then he lets it go. Okay. So then here you want to make it actually go a bit forward, and then make this one fly down a bit but then still curve so now you're gonna make it look like breaking it breaking his back a different way i like so then you do this you do this you do this and then you do this and yeah and trust me i'm not gonna leave this without any heads i do i don't know i like to do my head after the animation so in the so in the second part i will be adding all heads not this one because it, w it would just be a waste. So in the second part, which will be coming out today too, I will be showing you how to do heads. So it's so it's almost fully extended here, which means his arm is almost fully down. So this one goes like really in there, and this one is just a straight leg. You know that doesn't look right. Okay, so. No. Okay. So. No. Okay. Uh, so I something just happened. Don't worry. Okay. So now that the punch is fully out, that hand goes fully down. And you, this goes here, and then this goes there, and then now this goes. Wait, what? That does not look right. So hinge point, hinge point, hinge point. Okay. And then I have an and then I have an extremely weird way of making the hand come back in. <laughs> you guys do. You guys probably do it some way uh, different, but I just make it like fold inwards, a w in a weird way. Okay. And then in this frame, it's just going to be like this, with the arm hanging down. And boom, boom. Now, just make him look like he's standing. Like this. And now he's going to do the kick. Which is probably going to be the hardest part of the, of... Wait, what? Don't say my pen just died. Oh, come on, my pen just died. Okay, I guess I'll I guess I'll break my finger trying to animate. 
Okay, now that I'm using my finger, this might not be as good. So this is gonna go straight. Then his leg is gonna start folding. And then he, his arm is gonna, his arms are gonna start to go like that. And then this frame, he's fully ready to kick. And then his arms are fully folded. Okay, let's test this. Yeah, so you can clearly see him punch. So he punches and then he gets ready to kick. Okay. Okay. So then we're just gonna do one more one more frame of him holding the kick. Okay. And now he's gonna let go of the kick. But considering that this is 24 FPS once again, you're gonna wanna make him release the kick quite slowly. Wait, well, I forgot to add the rest of the body on this one. And then for, uh, for the last combo attack thing, you're just gonna wanna make him do an, up, an uppercut. Oh, I finally found out the name, uppercut. Yes, uppercut. I finally remember the name of it. So then, he, so then it's gonna look like he's breaking his everything by doing the splits. Like that. And then he's gonna, well, start bending his legs. <laughs> I'm just saying my animating is not too good. But I can still show you a few things. Yeah, so then... Just make him do this like he was ready. Okay. Then make him... Then make him do this. Like his arm just being down like that. Because that is how you probably get ready for an uppercut in real life. Yes, yeah, so now this will be the final, final, final frame of him holding his uppercut. And then in this frame, he's going to let go. Which he is doing. I don't know why, but sometimes they do such long legs and then short legs. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so you can see him do it, doing everything pretty clearly. I like to work at 30 FPS, but... Eh. So punch, kick, start of the uppercut. Okay, then he starts really punching upwards. And this frame, he's almost, he almost fully punches up. And then, boom, fully punch, full punch upwards. And then you leave that there for an actual another frame. So then, considering that this is 24 FPS so they can see it, then make it start bending back in, which is going to be the hardest part. You know what I've learned? Instead of drawing a circle for a head, just, just do a dot, like a big dot for the head. That works a lot better than a circle. Okay. Now that it's almost folded. You know what? I'll do the heads in both of them. Okay. And if you're wondering, I'm going to do like blur and stuff like that. But that's not going to be in this one. That's not going to be in this part. It's going to be in the third part, the final part. Okay, and then just draw him calmly standing. Okay, so punches, he kicks, and he uppercuts. Check. Then, for me, you're going to want to raise this to 35 pixels. Just go through every frame and add a head. That's 35 pixels big. Weirdest walk that that is like my signature walk. Then he starts charging up the punch. Then he starts letting it go. Boom. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly add these heads. Getting close. 
to doing all these heads. I do heads really fast. I just dot it where I... Hey, what? That one I did not add a head. Okay, that looks weird. But, okay. Remember, don't exactly copy me. I mean, like, you can... I mean, like, you can try to do what I'm doing. But don't exactly copy me. That... He might get in trouble. Because copywriting is not a good thing. I'm just going to say that. I got this... I got this from... From a different combo, which was just all kicks. So this is actually my idea. But somebody else probably did this, but I don't know. Okay, so now. This is gonna, this is what I have done in the first part. Punch, kick, upper, punch. With a head. Okay, so now here's how I'm gonna, so I'm gonna end off part one. Part two will be the enemy stick man, and part three will be all effects and stuff. So, that's how it's going to go. My skiing video will be released by tomorrow. So, bye guys. Please like and subscribe.